doubt is the number one assassin of success. It is the hidden enemy that lurks it back there in your mind that is going to get in the way of your progress, of your self-confidence, and is constantly just, oh, but what if you can't do it? What if you can't do it? And I'm going to teach you exactly how to eliminate that doubt forever every time it gets in your way. Everybody faces doubt. Everybody faces doubt. Entrepreneurs that are at a level that you just imagine, they must never have doubt. They must never have hesitation. Trust me, everybody goes through doubt, fear, uh, second-guessing yourself, second-guessing your decision at all levels of entrepreneurship. The thing is that as you become more successful and you have more experience pushing through the doubt, it gets easier to do. If you're at the earlier stages of your entrepreneurial journey, for sure, it may be harder for you to push through doubt if you've never had this type of doubt and if you've never experienced it, especially if that doubt is coming from exterior uh, forces. As entrepreneurs, we have <laughs> plenty of our own doubt that we deal with <laughs> all the time. We don't need any additional from other people. Thank you very much. But it still happens. You still may hear doubt from friends, even family, loved ones. That can be really tough to deal with. So how do you deal with that? How do you deal with doubt from yourself and from others? I'll give you some tips that I use and that I teach uh, the, the students that I work with on those two factors. So first, let's start with doubt from yourself because this is most commonly where it's going to come from, especially if you're trying to do something you haven't really done before. You're, you're taking on some huge new endeavor. You're going on some new entrepreneurial path. Doubt is a safety net that your mind tries to give you to set you up for potential failure later. Meaning if you do fail later, if it doesn't work out, you'd say, oh, well, I had that doubt anyway. I wasn't really sure if I could do it. I kind of knew it wasn't going to work out. Rather than feeling just like totally devastated, <laughs> whereas you're like, I was so sure this was going to work. Uh, and, and so it's totally normal to have that doubt. The problem with doubt is it's like, it's almost like if you imagine like one of those old school strongman contests, you know, with like the the 400 pound muscle man that's like got the big vest on and he's pulling the truck from behind him. That truck is the doubt that you carry with you. And imagine how much faster you could run if you didn't have that, you know, gabillion pound truck behind you holding you back. So. To get past that doubt, there are a few things that you can employ. Number one, first and foremost, remember your why. Remember why you're doing this thing that you're trying to do that you're having doubt about. It could be a new career choice. It could be a, a, a physical transformation or something with your health that you're going through. It could be a career. I mean, there's a lot of things that you could have doubt about. But ask yourself, why am I doing this? Why? As an example, I uh, made a video about this already. I just got a new business credit card, maxed it out right away, $30,000, boom, to move my one of my online courses from Kajabi over to Lightspeed VT. Uh, and Lightspeed is for sure the best virtual training software, the best platform out there. And so when I was making this decision, for sure there was doubt because I already spent about $100,000 to build this course and place it into Kajabi. And now to spend another $30,000 when I finally built this thing and it's all in place, it took a year and a half to do. And now I'm going to spend thirty grand to move it to this new place. Now, the big entrepreneurial part of my brain is going like, dude, this is the move. Of course it's the move. It's the best platform. Think about how many more people you can help. Think about all of the teams and brokers that can license your coursework. Think about how many people can take advantage of what you have to offer and the additional benefits that everyone's going to get when you go to Lightspeed. Think about how much more money you can make by moving to this platform. For sure, that's the part that I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And then there's that, there's that doubt that's like, Dude, you just spent six figures. 
you're going to drop another 30 grand right now? I told one of my friends about this. He was like, dude, that's like a new car. I mean, not the type of car I would buy, but it's a lot of new car a lot of people would buy. Um, and it's like, wow, yeah, yeah that, that, that's right. That, that is a new car. The problem is, is that the, the car is not going to make me money. This is going to make me money. This move I'm making right now, this is going to make me some money, right? But there's still some doubt. Oh, what if it doesn't work out? What if you get another $30,000 in debt? And then, right? But that doubt is always there. But I remember my why. Why am I doing this? Well, I built this course to help as many real estate agents as I can. I built this course to be able to bring in huge amounts of passive income after spending so long building this thing and getting it in there. And this is going to further both of those goals. It's going to help way more people. It's going to open way more doors of opportunity. So yes, this is the move to make. And in spite of the doubt being there, I made the decision to move forward anyway. And it was a great decision and I'm super excited about it. And it's about to launch in light speed. When I got my real estate license, moved from New Jersey, my wife quit her job. We started a business here together. You can bet there was a hell of a lot of doubt there. I mean, was there doubt for her to quit her teaching job, making 60 grand a year with awesome health benefits? Yes, of course, there was a lot of doubt there. We pushed through it. It was there, but we pushed through it. And that's what entrepreneurs do. You push through fear. You push through doubt, regardless of whether it's there or not. And what most people do is they let the doubt stop them. They let the doubt take over, right? You have the, 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 the go-getter part of your brain that's like, go, 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 do it, do it, do it. You can do this thing. You can do this thing, right? And then you got that doubt that's like, oh, but what if it doesn't work out? What if it doesn't work out? And what most people do is they let that doubt grow because that's what they focus on. Now, what you focus on will grow. Where you put your intention, that is the thing that's going to grow. So if you spend more time thinking about what could go wrong and the doubt that you have, that monster is going to get bigger and it's going to overtake the confidence. What you need to do is focus on your why and focus on why you're doing this because when you do that and all the th and all the things you're going to do that are going to make sure you don't fail, that is what's going to grow. And then you can easily starve the doubt, as Grant Cardone likes to say. Whenever I need a little bump in getting over some doubt, I go to my very favorite book ever, Be Obsessed or Be Average. And I listen to that chapter called Starve the Doubt. Wow, what a powerful chapter. I highly recommend it. So number one, you think about your why. Okay. Number two, think about yourself and what you're willing to do. Are you willing to make the sacrifices necessary to ensure that the thing that's causing the doubt that you're worried about isn't going to happen? You see, every decision you make has a guarantee. Every decision you make has a guarantee. And the guarantee is you. The guarantee is yourself. The guarantee is that you know you're going to do whatever it takes so that failure is not an option. Even when I'm doing something new, I align with my own framework. I get a blueprint. I get a coach. I get the right answers. I know that the thing that I'm doing, I'm doing it right. I'm taking the right steps, the proven steps to lead to success. And because I know I'm going to implement them with massive action, relentless consistency and time, I will not fail. Therefore, I can get over that doubt. It's still there sometimes, but I know, hey, you know what? Whatever, like shut up doubt. I'm moving forward because I'm going to focus on what I'm going to do, the actions I'm going to take to make this work. So you want to think about your actions, the actions you're going to take that are going to allow you to achieve the success that you're looking for and that will allow you to have confidence that you don't need to worry about the things that are causing you doubt because you're going to be taking actions every single moment, every single day to push that doubt far, far away and keep moving and making the progress that you need to. Now, it could be really challenging when the doubt comes from other people. That could be really tough, especially if they're loved ones, people that care for you. And the thing about the doubt is like they have good intentions when they say that. Oftentimes, though, their doubt is their own fear masked that they're now projecting onto you. As an example, when I quit my teaching job uh, to go into my first 
business and really run that full time. I had already ramped that business up to me making a heck of a lot more than I was teaching. And I told my administration and fellow teachers that I was quitting my teaching job to run my business full time. Even though I was making way more money, which they didn't know because they didn't ask. They just immediately went to fear, doubt, fear, doubt. And they would say, Rob, why, why would you do that? You're tenured. You have pension. You've been in the school system for like 10 years. Why would you leave these golden handcuffs, these magnificent golden handcuffs to go run your business full time? What if it doesn't work? It was working. I'd already proven it was working. The problem is that they have their own doubts, their own fears that they would never, ever do the things that I'm doing. And so they project that onto me with their own doubt. If it comes from a loved one, because they might not have experience doing the entrepreneurial thing or doing what you're doing, they're going to tell you how hard it is. And what if it doesn't work? Oh, I knew someone that tried to do what you're doing one time and it didn't work. <laughs> okay, right? But there are other people that make it work every day. But they will take their concern for you and also, again, their own fear and doubt of themselves and place that onto you. And, and, and typically when people put their own doubt and, and put it on you, it's almost always because they have that own doubt about themselves and because they can't imagine doing what you're trying to do, they're going to project it onto you with their own doubt and their own fear. And the issue is when you let that get in there, which again can be really challenging if it's coming from close friends or family or even a spouse or a parent, that can be very, very tough. And you have to not let it get to you because you have to remember your why you have to remember the actions that you're going to take. Those are the two biggest things I've talked about already, your why and your actions that you're going to take in order to keep things moving in the right direction and not let the doubt happen. The bottom line is that doubt is going to be there typically when you're doing new things. Some days the doubt just creeps in. You can't even explain it. I have days where I'm just crushing it, crushing it. Most days I'm, I'm very motivated. I'm very positive. I'm moving forward. But some days I wake up and I don't even know why. And I'm just like, what am I doing? Like, does this all make sense? Like, I'm doing so much. I got so much on the line. Like, what if it doesn't work? Oh, my gosh. And that happens sometimes. I feel those thoughts sometimes still in my career. They're not as certainly not as frequently as they used to be, but they still pop in sometimes and I don't know why. And so at those moments, I go back to the advice I'm giving you right now. I remember, why am I doing this? What happens if I don't do this? What type of life am I going to have to go back to if this doesn't work? Nope. Unacceptable. I'm not doing any of that again. My wife's not doing any of that again. We've established an incredible life for ourselves and we are only moving forward. I do not focus on the doubt. I don't think about it. When it comes in there, I don't even think about it. I force myself to think about positive things, things that make me happy, motivated. I think about people that are counting on me today, and that's where I put my energy because the more you focus on it, the more it's going to grow. So if you don't focus on it, it will go away. Again, it's going to be there sometimes, but you just have to move past it by focusing on the things that matter. Never, ever let doubt get in your way. Because if you can keep pushing it back and keep moving forward, I mean, man, the sky is the limit. You can do anything you want. Doubt is probably always going to be there, right? It would be a little bit <laughs> ignorant for you not to have some doubt sometimes. But the difference is, are you going to let it stop you or not? And as long as you keep taking action and do not let the doubt stop you, it is always going to be impossible to fail.